everywhere I go is like it's it's a there's an opportunity for something interesting. I've never been interested in representing San Francisco by just painting the Golden Gate Bridge or representing New York by just painting the Chrysler Building. You know, I kind of want to find the more off the beaten path things. I'm James Randall, I am a painter, oil painter. I've been painting full time for 10 years now. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and I just paint whatever's around me at any given time. I don't consider myself a historian, but but I mean, maybe unintentionally, yes. It's I, I think I'm just drawn compositionally to that kind of decay. I mean, a lot of photographers like Stephen Shore, Gary Winogrand, I love their work and the way they're looking at just like everyday life. And so it's just like that is that is my everyday life is Arizona now. So I see a lot of signs and older buildings that are kind of run down. At nighttime, like light is manufactured. So like one of the first nighttime paintings I did, I was commissioned to do a painting of Las Vegas from like the south end of the strip. And the painting was 10 feet tall by eight feet wide. And you're looking down and there's all these neon lights and they're all different colors. And I kind of started looking at other painters and how they dealt with night because I thought night was going to be like this huge challenge. And it was actually more fun because you can have cool light or pink light or really warm light and it doesn't, your eye doesn't tell you it's wrong because everything's manufactured anyways. It's not natural. That's one of the biggest struggles for a painter sometimes, at least myself, is overworking something and overthinking something. Sometimes less less can be a lot more. Because, you know, you as a human, when you look at something, you're looking at me as a whole. You're not looking at every, every whisker or, or eyelash on my face. So you have to find a way to represent that so your eye can see it without being distracted by seeing every, every last minute detail. Sometimes I don't feel like taking photos and sometimes it's like, oh, thank God on my phone, you know? I find the, the best ones are kind of an accident, you know? Like, actually one of the weirdest shots I ever had was, it was Thanksgiving morning in San Francisco and this particular morning, the sky was like the craziest blue color I'd ever seen in my life and there was no pollution in the air. The sky was just like crystal clear and there wasn't like a soul to be seen anywhere. And the light and the shadow was like so awesome and it was just like, I couldn't have ever plan that that was going to happen. But the end result was like kind of cool. It was like, it had broke new ground for me as a painter and the greatest meaning for me and my work is to paint what I want to paint. Like I'm not trying to force my opinion or story on anyone. It, you can you can interpret my painting however you want. You know, a lot of people will look at a painting and be like, "Oh, that reminds me of Boston." I'm like, "Well, it's actually San Francisco." Like, I don't care. It reminds me of Boston. You know, it's just like it's it's it is how it makes you feel. But when I'm painting it, it's it's more about me and what I'm trying to convey.